Hey, I wanted to do a real quick video because I was going to, I had taken this cake that I used to make the mermaid dots um, example just to show how to put them on the cake. And I was going to take it and throw it out because I stuck it in my fridge saying, oh, I'll use it for something else because I'm a hoarder. But then I realized that I'm not going to use it for anything else. So I'm taking it out. I'm throwing it away. But I thought I would show what happens to the wafer paper when you take a cake out of the fridge. Now, when I put these on, these were pretty flat. And what will happen is you take the wafer paper out of the fridge and the condensation that forms on the cake will get absorbed into the paper. And I'm assuming that you can kind of see this. See how it's kind of sticking out and it's kind of absorbing the paper and getting soft. And it doesn't look too bad because these are small pieces. If you had an entire flat wafer paper image on the cake, it's going to buckle. So just don't refrigerate a full sheet of wafer paper like a cake that has the full sheet on it because it's not what happens in the fridge. It's when you take it out and the condensation forms on the cake that this will happen. So you can see that this is just kind of, everything is kind of buckled and um, a little, not, it's not laying flat on the cake. So it's just softening up and it's not too bad. So if you had a, a cake with small pieces like this, you could put it in the fridge and store it. That's not a problem. But it's just when you have a larger sheet that you're trying to take out and it, it might do this kind of thing and that's going to ruin your edible image. So just watch out for that, and if you have any questions, leave them and I'll answer when I get a chance.